Hey, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you my evening routine. So in the past, I definitely would have referred to myself as a night owl. When I was in university, honestly, I could stay up till 5 a.m. working on assignments and I legit did. And I relied on good friends like Becky. Thank you, Becky, for waking me up for all my 8 a.m. classes. But what I have found is that an evening really sets up the success of the morning. And so I have been working hard to develop better strategies for a peaceful, restful, restorative evening. So I wanna share with you what that looks like. And I'm gonna link for you in the cards a video I did on my morning routine because so many of you ask me what it looks like to get ready with seven kids. So I'll start when my kids roll in the door from school. My husband picks the kids up, my four school age kids come home at 4 p.m. and we actually eat dinner early. I have found that basically we would put out like a buffet of snacks at 4 p.m. and then nobody would eat dinner at six o'clock or whatever. So what we do now is I have my amazing nanny prepare dinner and it's ready to go literally at four o'clock. So they come in, they wash their hands, they give me their communication bags and any kind of pieces of paperwork that I need to fill out for school. And then we all sit down together as a family at 4 p.m. And this is where we unpack the day. This is where we try to go around the, the table and I try to hear highlights from everybody. I have picky eaters. I That's a whole other category of videos and if you're interested in that let me know in the comments i don't know i'm a work in progress when it comes to food over here but what i will tell you is that they eat what's on the table so by 4 30 we are usually done dinner and i have my children pick up their plates and bring it to the sink and the older ones help with you know facilitating the table cleanup and usually at that point i'm into homework help so my son john is in grade four my daughter evelyn is in grade three my son leo is in grade one and my daughter rose is in sk and they all study French immersion. And so there is always like a dictate to practice for, there is always a book report to prep for. So I find in that time, I'm spending individual time with each of them as they need. We don't really do too many after school activities. My daughter goes to a tutoring program twice a week and we sometimes participate in things like rock climbing or jujitsu, but they're like individual um, activities for kids, not really team associated. I just find that I like my evenings to not be too pressured and not full of running around. And so we've made a very conscious decision to not participate in too many after school activities. We have our kids participate in programs that are running during school hours at their school. So after homework and all these things are kind of done, we have a different kind of rhythm every single day depending on the day. Um, on Mondays, for example, we put on a little bit of TV. So from 5.30 to 6.30, the kids are allowed to watch TV. Um, on Wednesdays though, for example, is the day that we do computer. So that's a really fun thing for the kids. They all get a turn on the computer. I'm really strict with limiting screen time. So they always look forward to their Wednesday and their Saturday <laughs> block of computer time. At 6.30, we say prayers as a family, including um, the, two, like the youngest kids. Everybody stays together um, and we do a short family prayer time. And then my two-year-old is put to bed at around 6.30. And then the bigger kids are allowed to play in each other's rooms for about an hour or so. But it's kind of like they've been already sent to bed at that time. So we have brushed teeth, we have washed faces, we've changed into pajamas and whatnot when the kids are sort of dismissed, if you will, um, to go play in their rooms. And then finally, we basically like have a lights out sort of thing at around 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Like, what I mean is they're allowed to play quietly, but as long as they're in their rooms, we're kind of okay with them being up. But then by 7.30 or 8 p.m., if they're still awake, it's like, okay, guys, it's time to go to bed, tuck you in, good night. And then from eight o'clock to about 10 o'clock, my husband and I are relaxing. Um, we will sometimes watch a show. We will sometimes talk about business. My husband and I are now working together very much in my business. And so there's never a shortage of things to talk about, I find, um, with the two of us. And then by 10 p.m., I really like to start the winding down process uh, so that I can wake up with success the next morning. Now, I don't really have 
an elaborate wind down process. I've been reflecting on this a little bit. Perhaps there's some ways that I could um, better wind myself down, um, but I don't really have anything. Let me know in the comments. What do you do to unwind at the end of the day? Do you journal? Do you like take a bath? Do you um, use essential oils to kind of you know relax your body? I don't really have one. Honestly, right now, my evening routine is like getting my breastfeeding child to sleep. <laughs> That's like basically what my evening routine is. And then let me know anyone else out there with an infant child, like if I'm lucky, I've made sure I brush my own teeth and all that kind of stuff. So I find my evenings are not as intentional as my mornings. Um, and that's one of the things I'm trying to brainstorm right now. What can I do? Um, we might have to start sleep training. Actually, no, we do have to start sleep training and I just don't want to do it yet. <laughs> I have a hard time sometimes with these things because it's kind of like saying goodbye to baby. You know what I mean? Although she's still a baby, but um, I just, I'm putting it off for as long as I can. And I know it's honestly, this is an issue, this is my issue, not the baby's issue. And that's it, that's my evening routine. I would love to know what are some things that you do in your evening. Um, can you give me some ideas for what would be a more restorative evening or like other habits that I can get my mind and my body to also calm down? One big thing, as I mentioned in my morning routine video that has been so helpful is not bringing my phone to bed. I used to rely on my phone to relax before going to bed it doesn't really work you guys <laughs> because I just would keep myself up quote unquote relaxing reading what everyone else is doing in their social media feeds that's not really relaxing um, I was keeping myself up to like one two in the morning honestly and like using breastfeeding as an excuse oh no I'm nursing the baby no 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 I was not nursing the baby I was scrolling until 2 a.m. just mindlessly entertaining myself and so that's been a huge 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 shift putting my phone in the bathroom, plugging it in so that I can wake up at 6 a.m. the next day. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if any of this stuff is something that you struggle with too. Um, maybe we can struggle together. Thanks so much for watching and cheers to designing your beautiful life.